Okay, so I'm going coyote, bobcat, predator hunting tomorrow. And I went back in August and I had bought a pair of shooting sticks that, long story short, sucked. I had only spent about $40 on them. And I like to get away with doing things on the cheap. Uh, I'm not opposed to spending good money on stuff, but the amount that I go predator hunting and the amount that I actually would use a set of shooting sticks, I can't justify spending 70, 80, 90, $150 on a set of shooting sticks. Uh, when you get spend that much money on them, yes, they are nice, but again, I can't justify spending that kind of money on them. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is make my own shooting sticks. Uh, I'm going hunting again tomorrow. If they work, great. If not, you know, I'm out all of about 20 bucks. Uh, so what I have here is two pieces of 5 16 round bar. Uh, like I said, they cost me about 650 a piece. I just happen to have two pieces of quarter inch uh, plate laying around my shop. One bungee cord I got at Lowe's today. Uh, I think it cost me about three bucks. And some black heat shrink tube that shrinks down. It's five sixteenths. It shrinks down to, I think, about half the size of what it normally is. So it'll shrink down on the on the uh, round bar rather nice. Uh, my plan is to take a hole saw, cut around, basically make them look like ski poles, cut around, and then basically weld them on there so I, you know, taper the end down, and they'll kind of cross like that, and I'll have the ski pole end down here, and right here, and I'll be able to have my rifle sitting in the crotch of them just like that this has the little holes there that I can put over top to lash my rifle down and they'll be able to be adjustable like this I can Now what I have to do now is the pilot hole for this hole saw is only a quarter inch bit. Obviously I'm using 5 16 round bar, so I have to step this hole up to 5 16 Next thing, if you can pick it up very well, we need to take these discs over to the grinder, the sander, and clean them up. So that hole saw doesn't really do the best job in the world of cutting them clean. see we've got both of the poles or shooting sticks got the ends tapered again they don't have to be tapered very you know down to a point I mean they're just gonna get jabbed in the ground I've got both my ski pole ends, whatever, again, whatever you want to call them, my, my stops. Again, they don't have to be perfect. They're drilled out to 5 16, so they'll slip on. And let's get one of these out of here because we're only going to do one at a time. And what we're going to do is take one, slip it on. That's what's going to Basically, it's going to get welded on like that. 
And I figured about an inch and a half would be perfect. So I got my, my square set for an inch and a half. So right about there. Magnet to hold it. and a half. I'll go ahead and tack it from that side and once it's tacked I'll probably just run a, a full bead around each end and we'll repeat for the other side. I already got my welder set up so let's do this. We'll clean up with the wire wheel. The welds are still ugly but like I said, they'll still work. Next, we're gonna take our, our shooting stick and we're gonna take some heat shrink because we wanna keep it quiet. We're gonna take this heat shrink and put it down the length and then heat it up and shrink it down. So, I'll probably do that off camera because it's not exactly the easiest thing to do, but I can do that, start it, and show you, basically. Well, actually, it might go on easier than I thought. Now, we'll take it over. Now, I went and did the other one off camera. So now, much quieter, as opposed to if you had them undone. Now, granted, I didn't do the bottom ends because they're going to be sticking to the ground, but much quieter. Granted, these ends aren't done, so if you're carrying them in the woods or in the field, you can avoid that simply by carrying them opposite ends. All right, so there you have it. Finished product. Took a piece of the bungee cord, put them there, just one end. Took the very end, so you can actually put the hook back into it and hang it. And then took another part, so that other, they're lashed at the bottom. Then you got another part at the top. Once you put your rifle in there, you can, you can stretch it to keep your rifle from popping out. And again, it's got the hook. And there are different hooks depending on how far out you get your sticks. Ironically, I'm going hunting tomorrow and I'll be using these, so we'll see how well they work. Hopefully they work well. If they don't work and they turn out to be pieces of crap, well then, I'll let you know. But if they turn out to be crap, I wasted 12, eh, a little less than 20 bucks. <laughs>